cops talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. I seen you like a few weeks ago or something, I just seen you. He's like, yeah, you probably seen me at the Banks party, mad bitches. You know what I mean? I never even seen this nigga before, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So but you was at the Banks party and you did have mad bitches. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hey, yo, what up? This is Prodigy, the Dom Perignon P. The H and I C head nigga in charge, the most motherfucking infamous mob deep. Chilling on this is 50.com, kid. You know what time it is. Yo, what's up, Prodigy? This is Prodigy. 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 This is yeah, yeah, you know, some bullshit. Yeah, some, some bullshit. Where is it exactly going through your mind? First of I mean, all, I was supposed to beat that case. It was an illegal search. You know what I mean? So when I was going through trial, I'm like, I'm going to beat this shit out. I, I done beat like at least four or five illegal searches before in my mm -hmm. past. And I'm like, I'm going in there with the mind state, like, this shit is beat. This is going to be easy. Mm -hmm. During the trial, you know, the officers, the arresting officers get on the stand and they lied. And they said, you know, they saw the gun in my hand and all kinds of shit. So right then, immediately, I knew I had to go to jail. He lied so they can have probable cause. Why do you think that is a conspiracy to lock you up? There's a task force in New York called the Hip Hop Task Force. And, uh, and this watch. really does exist? Yeah, it really exists. Um, the, the guy that started, his name is Derek Parker. You can go get his autobiography. Mm. It's called the Hip Hop Cop. It's in the stores. Mm. Um, he started the task force. He's from uh, Mount Vernon. That was one of Heavy D people. The task force started for Puff. You know what I mean? And Heavy D and them niggas. That's why they started this, the task force. Because uh, Derek Parker's superiors, they didn't like the fact that Puff and Heavy and all of them was making all that money and they thought something suspicious was going on. You know what I mean? They thought it was more than just rap music. So they hired Derek and they, they told Derek to start this team to investigate these people, you know what I mean? And um, you know, it just grew from there. They started investigating other rappers and more rappers and, and we just so happened to be one of the groups, Mob Deep, that they've been investigating since like 94, 93, you know what I mean? Since way back when we first came out. I didn't find that out till during my trial though, you know what I mean? But um, I always knew that there was some type of task force watching people because I would hear people talking about it. I would see certain things. Um, and uh, it was always just like a, like a myth, though. Illuminati. You know? People talk about that all the time, but does yeah. that really exist? Yeah, Illuminati. That's that's definitely a myth. You know what I'm saying? That mm. that really can't be proven. You mm. know what I'm saying? But this, the task force is something different. That's, but it can be, and it can be proven. Yeah, it's already been proven. Mm. I knew already that they were watching Mob Deep. I knew they were watching G. You know what I mean? Fifty. I knew they was watching certain people because I would get pulled over by these people. You know what I mean? And some of them are young black officers, and I know how to talk to people, you know what I'm saying? I know how to use, I got the gift of gab. So I know how to talk and get people to talk to me, you know what I'm saying? So I used to, these, these motherfuckers would arrest me for some little bullshit, right? And I used to talk to them, I used to be like, yo, you know? I start getting in their head, start manipulating these niggas and shit, and getting them to talk to me. And I got them to tell me, yo, we've been assigned to Mob D, G on it, we watching y'all. I said, yo, I seen y'all before. One time they arrested me. I said, yo, I seen y'all before. Well, I, I never seen these niggas before. I was like, yo, well, I seen you. I, was, I seen you like a few weeks ago or something. I just seen you. He was like, yeah, you probably seen me at the Banks party. We was outside. Y'all had mad bitches. And this is the cops talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, all right, see how I pulled that information out of him. And I never even seen this nigga before. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, but you was at the Banks party and you did have mad bitches. Yeah, exactly. And I'm the definition of a keep a toolie by the toilet, extra heckler in the cupboard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when he told me that, I was like, wow, these niggas really watching niggas. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Derek Parker uh, agreed to testify during my trial that this task force really exists. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because he's the one that started it. He was going to testify that you know, this is what they do. They, they, they lie during trial just so they can have that probable cause. Stop fighting because I saw it was, it was a, I, I was gonna lose that case. You know, I had to turn myself in like in two months or something. I had two months on the street before I turned myself in. So during that whole two months, I was just, you know, mentally preparing myself for being away. You was in a real prison. Yeah. Like, you know, was it everything that you thought it was gonna be? So I was locked up with billionaires. I was locked up with, with DAs, with judges, like these, these are not your regular like corrupt yeah. cops and shit yeah, like I, that. Yeah, I was locked up with some 
people. We used to go to the yard in the morning, all the um, boxing mates used to be in the cages, and they used to see me, they used to be like all singing all the songs, like like a choir, like straight up. And they were singing. Singing all the songs. Every time they see me come outside, they'd be like, yo, infamous in this bitch, you know how we get down, that mm -hmm. show, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, wow, these niggas is ill. Saying, screaming G unit, screaming mob deep, like mm -hmm. from the number of love, you know what I'm saying? From the COs to the inmates, everywhere, from Rikers Island. I was in six different jails my whole bit. Every jail I was in, it was all the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People bringing me weed, people bringing me cigarettes, people bringing me food, people bringing all love, you know what I mean? <laughs>